Okay, we're rolling. Hey you guys, it is Matthew here again. And I'm now going to do another message video. This is the first I've had to do a technical one like this. Probably since I red carded or yellow carded Deuce Drayton back in January. For his childish like comments. Joining me today, I have two Skype guests in the forms of Kyle Hershen and John Flynn. What's up? What's up guys? Yep, that's them. So anyway, so I know that if you have been following, oh, this over a little bit. If you have been following the Skype Game Show Network, you'll notice that it's actually not called the Skype Game Show Network anymore. We call we renamed it the Discord Game Show Network, which leads me to this message video, and it was towards one member who left on his own. But we ended up kicking him out because of something that happened. And I'm and I was not a witness and I was not a witness to this by any means, technically speaking, because it did happen on the page. But I did come across that post and uh, and I'm gonna let Kyle uh, explain everything because it was his own post. So Kyle, yeah. do you wanna tell us what happened? Yeah, okay, so this one guy, uh, I'll mention his name in a little bit, um, we decide, you know, if you don't know what Discord is, it's almost like team speaking away. It's become more successful and we're incorporating TeamViewer into this. So, uh, by a unanimous vote, we have decided to rename the SGSN to the DGSN. Um, uh, Alan, I, I talked to all the admins, I talked to, uh, Rodney and Alan, um, I guess, in a way, I'm an unofficial admin of the DGSN, because I do actually do a lot of moderating. Um, and, like I said, we, we put it to a vote, see if anyone wanted to do it. We had 11 people say that, yeah, we want to change the name, uh, but the one person that uh, in, initially said no was a guy named John Christian Ambion. Um, and... Let me bring... I'm, I'm looking on the page right now. I'm trying to find my post. Uh, here we go. Uh, this is what I posted. Uh, this is probably the biggest post of this group. Due to the success of our newest program, Discord, the admins and I got together, and we are going to make history right now. We are retiring Skype as of tonight, and we are renaming the group the Discord Game Show Network. We are excited to further our efforts to making this group as professional as possible. It all can be done without our admins. And, of course, you guys for being here throughout everything. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Discord Game Show Network. It was actually an idea from uh, Carla or Bundy Chick. Um, and then he posted, uh, no, it's going to be the same. It's going to, uh, here we go, here it is, I, I found it. Carla writes, oh, never mind, I can't see his comments anymore. Um, whatever. And then we go to this post that he makes. Uh, and he's pretty much plagiarized my post, if I can find it. Shit, 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 shit. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I can just look in the photos. <laughs> um, photos, photos, photos. Here we go. John writes, this is probably the biggest post of this group. Due to Kyle Hershon's announcement that I would rename this group to the Discord Game Show Network, effective immediately, and until Skype returns to normal, I will leave this group, and I will come back once Skype, show, uh, Skype Game Show Network returns to existence. Um, so, uh, Rodney ends up blocking him, and Alan, uh, Alan Burns uh, permanently bans him, so he, no matter what happens, even if we do go back to Skype, which I doubt will happen, um, uh, uh, he won't be able to return. So, and then he messages me. He, he sends me a private message, and he writes, uh, and I'm going to do probably my best interpretation of his voice. So, guys, be prepared to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, I posted and said that until Skype returns to the normal and comes back, I won't join Discord Game Show Network, or in the case, Skype Game Show Network. And then I reply, good, because you will not return. Ronnie and Alan have permanently banned you. Goodbye. And also, try writing original shit instead of copying my posts, you Filipino trash. <laughs> so, then he goes, 
uh, about 20 minutes later, I didn't get this message until maybe 11 at night, and he wrote it about, like, 8.30. And he wrote it like 20 minutes later. I am not permanently banned, but I decided to leave just because you discriminated my Filipino race and my disability. Remember the rules. No bullying. Now, let me get this straight. That was not bullying at all. That was not bullying at all. Better yet, you did not leave because I discriminated you. You left because you don't like the name change. And better yet, you'd rather stick with Skype than Discord. Uh, this is kind of ironic because we're using Skype right now. <laughs> Uh, For this is the only reason why, probably. Yeah, most likely. All of our games will be done on Discord. Um, anyway, back to the main point. It's just like, dude, what the fuck did you get that from? <laughs> then again, he, he supports Hillary Clinton, so th there's no surprise. <laughs> Um, so, then, so then I write about a half hour later. I didn't get the message until a half hour later because I get my shit, like, late. So I then write, no, Rodney has blocked you. Alan told me that you've been permanently banned. You're no longer in the group. Even if we do return to Skype, you won't be able to come back. So I can say whatever the fuck I want to you. And then a day goes by, nothing happens. And then this morning, at around like 8 in the morning, right like right before I leave for college, he writes me, Rodney has blocked me and Alan has been permabanned because of you, Kyle. You changed it to Discord Game Show Network from Skype Game Show Network. So I can say is that for the last time, I deeply apologize for what I did to Rodney and Alan Keith. I am deeply sorry for being rude to all of your fellow group members and I did not mean to harm foul. Please, Kyle, respect my opinion. If you don't, I will block you. So, there are a bunch of problems with that statement. There are a shit ton of problems with that statement. <laughs> I tell you. So, you're trying to apologize for something that you argued with us before. It was a unanimous decision. There was no way that we were going to stick as the SGS said. So, the fact that you're apologizing for this shit after we've given you... 69 million chances. You've been, you were banned twice, but Rodney uh, was being, uh, was playing too nice and playing the Bernie Sanders card and decided to give you another chance. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I've been trying to say, to say, tell him for a couple of months that, that, that hey, this this guy's got to go. Yeah, and, and I, I blocked him on Facebook two months ago. Yeah, I didn't block him because I want. I, I just wanted to troll the shit out of him. So <laughs> I never added yeah. him on Facebook either, just for the I record. Never, I never added him nor blocked him. So I write, you know, after that big thing that he wrote about me, wrote to me, I just go, gone, goodbye. So then he finally writes, You ignored my plea, Kyle. Fine. I'll block you because you are the reason why Rodney blocked me and Alan Keith perma banned me. You are the reason why I can't trust a bully like you. If I were you, I will say that in Filipino. Lumayaska! Lumayaska apparently means be gone in Filipino. <laughs> and I'm just laughing at this fucking statement. Because you know why? I'm not the reason why Rodney and Alan uh, dislike you. You, you defended Ian, who is a known plagiarist. You are a plagiarist yourself. And um, you, you're blaming everything on me when it was your own damn fault. You broke so many rules, but yet Ronnie was being too nice and let you back in. All of us agreed that you weren't allowed to come back. So really, don't put the blame on me. Don't put the blame on me, because I had little to do with it. I was the one that told you that you're gone, you won't be coming back. Alan told you that, and Rodney and Alan blocked you for that reason. So, in the case of you returning, uh... Let's just say there's zero percent. That, yeah, that'll happen when Bartolo Colon hits a grand slam. <laughs> yep, yes. Or when February 30th comes around. That's true. In no. fact. <laughs> um, yeah, but one, one thing I gotta, gotta, gotta say, it's like, it's like everyone that, 
I that today I I I listened to a story in class about it's about how how back in the time that there were we had three and a half floppy A discs, which was about like fifteen years ago, and and my and the school library had metal detectors and. And and because the the floppy disks would would be it's still being in, in the school bags that they just wipe out the memories. So so what so what so what happened? They had to now go to USB ports, which is much easier to trans to transport material from outside in outside the library to inside the library. And 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 the, and and we and we saw issues on Skype and. So that's why we're in the Discord Game Show Network. But the thing, the thing, the main point I want to get across is that we 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 need to be up to date with the latest technology. And if you if you can if you can handle it, um, I don't know what's going on. I agree. Yeah. And if you, that's what that's like what I said in a prior message in a prior red card video. It's like foul language. If you can't take it, get out. Speaking about that, speaking about that, and I, um, I was we gonna address ep- that too. Yeah, we were gonna do, we were doing an episode of Tic Tac Go, and you know, if you know, if you watched his video, if you know, if you watch Rodney's videos, I'm a sailor, but yet I'm worse than a sailor. I'm in a fucking submarine. That's how bad I am of a mouth. And and John, while we were in commercial break, he goes, Kyle, will you not please curse? It offends me. So you know what I did? Kicked him out. Boot. We got. We gave him the boot because one of the rules is if you can't handle foul language, get the fuck out of my room. <laughs> yes. I, I bet you he's also the guy who likes to have sex with Dora the Explorer. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you he's like that other guy. What? What? Too straight in. Yeah, Just... that guy. <laughs> So you know what I did whenever he was on the call? I I would boost up the, the cursing and I'd boost up the innuendo. It was I, I cursed so much and I said so much sexual language that he left on his own terms. We all wanted him gone, and they knew that I was the key to do so. <laughs> Yes. Well done. <laughs> and the one thing I will also say is, I know that the situation... Now, why am I coming out with this message video? I know that things have been resolved, and John Ambien is now out of the Skype Game Show Network, now known as the Discord Game Show Network. I guess the only problem is that it's going to take a while for us to say Discord instead of Skype. So now, why am I coming out with this video? Because I actually had some things to say about that, too. And I think Kyle kind of addressed them all. And because when he said that what I said about foul language, if you can't take it, get out. It's like great. It's like motocross. If you can't take a little bumping or banging, get out. Because this isn't the first time that John has gotten in trouble. I also remember seeing a post from Neil Sternitsky, or Neil Rocks 89 I believe his name is, on YouTube. I'm pretty sure that's it. I heard that he had gotten in trouble with Rodney on another episode of Tic Tac Doe, and Neil kicked out John. Okay. Sorry, my grandma just stepped in. You can start my stuff up pretty soon. Sorry, guys. Anyway, what I'm saying is that if you guys, if you guys can't take bad language, then get out. Mm-hmm. And the one thing also is you have to you have to take responsibility. John Ambien is a textbook example of not taking responsibility. I mean, if you blame it on something else, then as long as you don't blame it on other people, then hypothetically that would be okay. But if you're going to do that on a daily basis, we're not going to take it very lightly. We're not going to take it very we're not going to take it very nicely and we won't give you benefit of the doubt no matter how hard you try. 
Oh, he just brought up a good point. He just brought up a good point. This is basically another version of Michael Taylor. Almost. Yeah. I won't argue but, there. But again, again, again there, there's there's just some things that we ha yet we gotta deal with, and and if, if you if you can't ha handle things in life, I don't know what I don't know what to, what to do if I couldn't handle them. Mm -hmm. Then again, you know I'm in college. I my professors curse, so if they curse, then that means hey, if they're cursing, then I guess it's fine. Yes. And our foul language on the Discord Game Show Network is minimal at best. The only guy who's probably responsible for so much is probably Kyle himself. <laughs> but we don't, but the one thing we don't try to do is we don't try to curse people out just to hurt their feelings. But if you don't do that because you are offended, I mean, seriously, if we're directing any foul language at you, then maybe you, ha then maybe you have a valid argument. But after that, but, really, but if it's not directed really, at you, then forever hold your peace. Yeah. Basically, John is what I call a special snowflake. With a typical millennial college student. So, you know, oh, if they so want, ex oh, explain what you mean, Kyle. Special snowflake? No. They're pretty much... I'm, I, I compare him to the, the college students who want their own safe space that can't deal with reality. You know, the people that can't take any sort of criticism or anything that goes against what they believe in. You know, like typical uh, college liberals who are voting for Bernie Sanders. And I hate to get political, but this brings up a valid point. Yeah. Uh -huh. that John is pretty much one of those special snowflakes. Yeah. It's like whenever something doesn't go his way... He'll start crying or protesting. I won't. I won't argue there. But anyway, because we won't try to discriminate people because of their them being from another country. But this also kind of brings up. Uh, Another situation where, I don't know if you guys heard, but we no longer have Christian Bank Poland or Christian Jablonski with us in the Skype or Discord game show network now. And the reasoning yeah, for that was far beyond that. stupid. Yeah, what did, oh yeah, I know what he did. He was defending Ian. No, 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 that's, no, no, I'm talking about Christian, not John. But... Oh, and, and, and no, I, 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 I think you I, wasn't he wasn't he also um a, bu a bullying Con Connor Mayrose because I know yeah. I, I Rodney did I Matt and I were in this in Rodney's yellow card video to Christian Jabianski and 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 if, and if you watch it on his channel uh, Con Connor makes some good points and 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 Con and and what and what has Connor done. Yeah, he's he's dealt with it and he's and he's moved on from it. That's right. And unfortunately, Rodney ended up not posting that yellow card video because there was a bit of some kind of like mixed words towards Hunter Dillon, and he was going to get in trouble with his mother. So Rodney elected not to post the video. So now I'm going to say what happened. For those of you who don't remember. Christian wanted a birthday special, and he did not want Alan or Connor to join for really dumb reasons. Connor's one was really... Apparently, Connor's one was downright cruel. Yeah, because apparently he doesn't like the tone of his voice. Yeah, j j just like so, was so, one of my classmates earlier, earlier in the year uh, so did, did that to me as well, and, and, what, um, and the result, I'm not friends with him anymore. So basically this is it. You cannot just you cannot be picky. You cannot you cannot be picky. You can't take everything everybody says very seriously. And if they're not directed at you, then forever hold your peace. But if you know that they weren't talking, but if you don't but if you didn't know they weren't talking to you, 
will probably give you benefit of the doubt there and just repeat it, say, oh, that was for this guy right here. It wasn't for you. And I will say, though, that some other members kind of left on their own terms or probably some disagreements, but... But really, what we have to say is we're starting to get the thing... We're starting to get things sorted out. And I think everybody's... And, I, and if we get the chance, we'll probably add everyone back. If they want to, if they want to rejoin, because I know for a fact that I'm still on good terms with some other people like Ben Spindon and Aubrey Scott, to name a couple. Well, I haven't talked to him in years. But really, that's the one thing we're not going to do. We're not going to, we're not going to wail on you for this for certain things. But as long as you don't break any rules, and as long as you treat everybody with respect, we'll treat you with respect, too. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So, anyway, does anybody else have a last thing to say before I wrap it up? Um, yeah, and, and, also, and also, like, with the, tech, with the technology uh, thing, because I am a and I'm a communications major in college, and and as communications majors, we we also have to, to have to uh, we also bear responsibility in in catching up with the latest technology. So, so so right now on my computer, I have the Microsoft Word 2013 edition, and I think they came out with the new one just within the last year. So, and I, and I will probably be going toward that version in the future, but. The, 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 but it, it, just just like I said before, um, to, uh, please, uh, and, and to the best uh, to the best of viewer, the viewers, keep up with your technology. Exactly. And if this is a precaution to anyone who wants to be a part of this group, there are a certain set of guidelines you gotta follow. Don't interrupt. And don't be afraid of swearing. That's pretty much the basic rules of this group. Yeah. Because, in all honesty, we're fairly nice people. But if you tend to break the rules, we'll be your worst fucking nightmare. It will. And it'll kind of make you just make us discredit you. And you'll lose more credit, and your last chance, and your chances of being in future Discord videos or or games with us will go down considerably. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at me. I did it one time, and I know some of us have been in trouble before. I know I, but then again, everything was different back then, so I don't like to dwell on that as much, but. The one thing that, uh-oh, my Skype stopped responding. But the one thing I will say, though, is that if things happen, there's always two sides to every story. So what we're going to try and do is at least do what we can to get both sides of the story. And if there's and if a, any punishment is necessary, we'll do it. Seems like my, uh... Skype thing is being unresponsive. But anyway, that's... That's pretty much what... That's pretty much what this group is about. And the one thing also... Is that our group isn't for true harmony. We've had a few users who requested to join... But Corey took care of them all. So they're not causing trouble here anymore. Alright, just a minute, folks. Whoops.
Oh, I guess it did come back. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, I don't know why, but my Skype's just stopped responding. So, Kyle, you were saying you got kicked out once? I got kicked out once, and I got I came back because, you know, I had a falling out with a few people. And then, you know, um, I regained my reputation. Yeah. So, if you do something wrong, take responsibility. Don't run away from it as if it isn't your own fault. Mm -hmm. But if you aren't involved, then you're in the clear. I did also say, while my Skype wasn't responding, was that, was that we also don't tolerate, we don't tolerate poor sportsmanship, and we don't tolerate members who only join for true harmony. Corey took care of them all. Okay, I think I've made my point. Anything, any last thing you'd like to say? Uh, we're good. We're good. Okay. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and I'll get this video up as soon as I can. And I'll see you guys for when I return to my log of videos, hopefully pretty soon. Still gotta wait on Alex Paras to send me episode 24 of Presser Luck. He already sent me episode 25, so waiting on 24. So thanks for watching everyone, I want to thank John and Kyle for joining me for this. You're welcome, man. Yeah, uh -huh. man. And again, one, and once again, everything has been taken care of. But I just wanted to make this video because I had a few things to say myself. So thanks for watching everyone, and I'll see you guys for another video.